Hello and welcome to the first of my little review series um, of classic episodes. Um, for a couple of weeks, uh, for a couple of weeks every time possible, uh, we will be doing reviews. Um, the Underwater Menace, which is this week's review. Um, the Time Monster, the Aztecs, and Reign of Terror, which we'll do over the next few um, weeks or months or whatever. Um, so uh, uh, today we are looking at this one, the Underwater Menace. Now, I'm not going to be here boring you for hours on end, but um, I'm going to give a brief review. Um, let's read the blurb on the back. So. Is by Geoffrey Orme, or May, don't know. Um, the TARDIS lands in the lost city of Atlantis, where the crazed Professor Zaroff has convinced the Atlanteans that he can raise their city from beneath the sea. But the Doctor discovers the terrible truth behind Zaroff's plan. He intends to destroy the entire planet. With the doomsday clock ticking, the Doctor and his companions must battle to prevent the apocalypse. So, it's re it, it, it sounds, it's a really good plot, okay, um, and the plot is one of the best things about this. So, let's start with my thoughts on the entire episode. Now, there are two animated episodes, the first one and the last one, and I find this really distracting and annoying, and I wish they, they had enough money to do an animated, um, animated two parts um because it felt like we really lost something and i i didn't feel that i got what was going on in the still bits most of the time i got what was going on for some bits but it was quite hard to follow but talking about the real life bits the parts two and three uh they were brilliant um great episodes um and they probably couldn't have been better it's just those other ones the first and the last episodes just let them down usually the first episode of Doct uh, Doctor Who story is the best one um, even if it's the only one uh, but um, this one isn't the case two and three are the best ones as it uh, shows the nothing in the world can stop me now bit by the crazed Professor Zaroff and um, also, uh, we've got like some uh, bits with the cool fish people, which I'll talk about in a minute. And also, we uh, have some fun guises from the Doctor, Jamie, Polly, and Ben. So um, let's talk about the companions. Um, I mean. Doctor Who, the companions, are not necessarily that strong. I mean, Polly in this one isn't very memorable. Uh, the companions in this one aren't necessarily very memorable. It's the Doctor and some of the other people in it that make memorable performances. It's just, Jamie's probably the most memorable companion in this story. Although Michael Craze does play quite a good role in this one as uh, Ben. So, fish people. Fish people. I think they were way too underused. I mean, they're everywhere on this. Let, let me count the times they're on the magazine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times. for like five minutes which is really disappointing I love the bit spoilers when they tried to turn Polly into a fish person but they're a bit underused there's only one chapter on here called the fish people and there is only one proper scene with the fish people in where they're floating around like idiots Zaroff, however, is really good, and whoever performs him is really good, and plays a madman very well. Um, 
So, uh, Zaroff, whoever acts him, well done, guy who acts Zaroff, because you play a madman very well. Um, so I think that's the end of my review. There was some uh, good supportive cast in this, uh, but I can't really remember their names, so they're not too memorable. Um, but uh, thanks for watching my review of The Underwater Menace. Um, next time I will be reviewing uh, the John Pertwee episode. Oh, no, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. I forgot to give scores. So I give this story a 7 out of 10 because um, because I think the first part and the last part are, uh, are a bit of a letdown just because they are in stills. They would have been good if they were. Um, but, you know, um, and so um, next um, time I will be reviewing... The underrated, one of the most overlooked and underrated episodes from John Pertwee's era, The Time Monster. So, thanks for watching. See you soon. Goodbye.